All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Kevin here again with another one from Yurkut Racing. Uh, we're going to get ready to get started today on putting this motor here back together. Uh, been a little bit. We finally got the uh, tube front end on the car over there. So we're going to get ready to clean this short block up, uh, make sure everything's good to go with it. I'm going to take the oil pump out of it, and we're going to do a little hot rod into that, kind of clean some edges up and check the tolerances and everything in it make sure it's like we need it to be um, we also have to take I got these uh, Felpro 1094 head gaskets here we gotta take and match those up with these stock LT ones and we gotta modify them uh, those guys are made for a small block Chevy first gen and um, they're 15 thousandths thick they don't make a head gasket that thin for the LT1, so we're going to take and modify that and make it work. Um, so I'll show you guys how we do that too. So we got a couple things coming up. Uh, we just got a head stud kit in for the, uh, for the build too. So I think we have everything except the valves. Um, they should be here this week coming up. So I don't know, maybe maybe Tuesday or Wednesday I think we should have those in so anyway I'm gonna go as far as I can I'm gonna try to get the short block ready as soon as the valves get in we'll drop those in the heads and uh, we should be good to roll so anyway let's get to it guys alright guys so we got one of the gaskets out of the packet over there um, I've matched them up here with the gaskets that came off the car um, best I can tell looking at them every all the holes line up uh, well, if, with the exception of these places here, it's one on each side. Um, so we'll have to come in here and trace that out. And i got to match it up with the block and see what that hole is for, but I'm probably going to end up uh, cutting that out also. Um, it's going to be right up against the edge over here on the bottom. So it, was, I don't, it doesn't appear that this area here was sealed on anything. As you can tell, it's a different color from the rest of it. So I think we'll be fine there because I think, I don't think it was even touching anything there. So anyway, I'm going to compare it on the block just to make sure, but I think we'll be fine. And then like I said, I'll mark the lines out here. We'll open the area up. And that should be it for that. It should be pretty straightforward. So I'm going to get to it. Alright, so yeah, there you go. So those square holes on that, guys, are just open. Um, like I said, there's nothing behind it. So we'll be fine on that on the other gasket. I just wanted to double check it to make sure, but we're not sealing anything off there, so we should be good. And like I said, I'll just have to come in here and open that other gasket up to match this opening here, which really, I mean, even looking at it on this, the hole in the block is not, I mean, as you can see, we really don't need to go any bigger than the hole in the block would be and we'll be fine so I'm gonna get that done so that's what it's gonna look like I mean as you can tell all the main bolt holes they all line up fine uh, that's not a bolt hole that's a water passage but all those holes line up like they're supposed to um, so there again I don't think we'll have any problems at all like that um, should be good to roll I just gotta cut this area here out on each side and we should be good all right let's keep going
All right, so you can see what we have. Guys, we got the uh, scribe lines on that side and on that side. So basically, we just got to cut those out now. And we'll be good. I got to figure out the best way to do this. Probably going to start with a drill bit and then ease around it with something to clean it up. Let's see. Guys, I just want to give y'all a closer look here. Um, this part right here, I did with the drill bit and a. I uh, came back with a deburring tool and got it. And I also tried that little diamond blade dremel tool thing I have for it. Um, it worked okay. I couldn't find the piece for the. Uh, cutoff wheels for it but anyway I finally found it and you can see it made a lot better difference um, cut a lot smoother so it'll be a lot less work to clean up at the end um, yeah so anyway this this cutoff wheel is gonna work a whole lot better for us so we'll keep going at it Alright, so I wanted to show you guys something on this. Uh, when we scratch our lines in it, I came back right here and actually rounded that out to give a little bit of space left over top of the hole um, on that coolant passage. I didn't want to make it super thin. You can see how small it would have been, I guess, if the, um, the glare is too bad or not. But you can see how tight that space would have been if we just scribed it straight like it was. So I put a little, um, little bit of material left above it um, just to compensate for that make sure we got good clamping force around that uh, water jacket so anyway I'm gonna keep going Alright, so we got both gaskets done now. Um, as you can see, the only thing we really had to do to get these gaskets to work for the LT1 was just cut the hole here and here on both sides. 
um, to match these holes up here. Everything else lined up like it was supposed to to begin with. So a pretty cool, easy little thing to do. Um, the thick, I mean, the thinnest gasket I think I could find LT1 wise was about 26 thousandths from Mr. Gasket. This is 15 thousandths. So it'll give us a good little bump of compression. So that's basically it, guys. I'm, um, you know. The reason we did it on this one, like I said, we want to get a bump in compression. We weren't taking the bottom end apart. Um, otherwise, probably the best way to do it would be to zero deck the block and use a thicker gasket. You'll get a little better sealing and the same kind of compression uh, increases or either some dome top pistons or something like that. But in this case, we were sticking with the factory rotating assembly and weren't going to take it apart. So this will get us a little bit. Um, if it's something you're interested in doing, it's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Um, heard seen a lot of guys having a lot of success with it, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, if you haven't already done so, take a second um, to subscribe to the channel. We're getting ready to start doing um, the oil pump, head studs, a um, couple other little odd and end things we got to do to the block to get that ready, and then we will get over on the heads over there. Um, I have the valves at the machine shop now. I got some stainless undercut stem swirl polish valves, but they did not come with the back cut. So I got them at the machine shop getting a 30 degree back cut put on them. Hoping to have those next week. And yeah, like I said, I'm pretty excited to get this thing going. Comment, like, and subscribe guys, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.